Hi, my name is Anam Bin and I would like to show you a little application I brought to manage the attendees for, for the AirHax workshop. So I would just like to launch it. And it's um, yeah, a little CRUD application which talks directly to embedded DerbyDB. So it's actually a FAT client. So this is no server-side communication, everything resides uh, on the client. And yeah, let's try that. So I would like to register the uh, Java Duke from JavaSoft. Java, Java Soft. Uh, for let's say boot, bootstrap and effective workshops, as you see, um, yeah, now Duke is registered for both, but not for UI and Java E. And um, yeah, as you also see, you um, immediately it is stored in an embedded Derby database. So I had actually no time to build it, so I tried to spend as little time as only possible. But um, so I wanted to use the FXML scene builder. But as you can see, there are multiple views. So there is uh, this view and several tabs. So uh, what I didn't want it to do is to just use uh, a huge FXML file with everything uh, in there. So the idea was to partition the application to for, into logical parts. So I have first the the overall view you see here. This is actually the main part. So um, I have the attendee input, it's the upper part. I have the day, which is basically just a table. And I have the workshops, which are actually the the dates for the AirHex workshops. And um, what you also see, each of these panels is organized in a uh, package. And the idea is that um, the contents of, of each package are identical. And um, there is a little bit uh, a little bit convention over configuration in place. So as you can see, I have always a presenter, a view, a CSS file, an FXML file. Um, so the um, idea would be that you will just create a Java a new view, so with a plugin, for instance, or a script or whatever, and it will create for you an empty view, presenter, and AirHax XML. So um, let's start with the main method. So there's JavaFX is actually no main method, so just uh, we have to extend from application, but. As you can see, I just create, um, I just instantiate it with new AirHex view, and this is the AirHex view. If you go to AirHex view, you will see that it actually extends from FXML view and is empty. So uh, why that? It is, it works because FXML view actually implements the convention over configuration. So in constructor of this view um, uh, of this class. FXML and CSS are already loaded. So what we already have, we have the graph of object constructed and we can actually use that. So um, you see this in, um, for instance, here, app view, get view. So here it returns the actually the, the parent created from FXML. And um, yeah, then the view appears on the screen and with the view, also the AIHX presenter is loaded. Why that? because the um, AirHex presenter is referenced in FXML. And this is the other, another part of the um, convention over configuration. So um, the view loads FXML, FXML contains UI elements, uh, UI elements are created by, um, by uh, FXML loader, and our handcrafted AirHex presenter is instantiated on, on demand, we can also inject UI elements into the AirHex presenter. And you see here, we have one anchor pane is input, the other one is overview. And if you go to the, um, to the FXML, you will see that the name of the anchor pane is input, from the other one is overview. Now, as you can also see, the overview is just empty here. And the reason for that is because I would like to create dynamic content here within the anchor pane. So how I did that? If we go to the, um, <coughs> to the anchor pane overview, you um, overview. You see that then just uh, say get children at workshops view get view. So what's workshops view get view again? Workshops view get view. So it's just an, the workshops view, which is another view here, and uh, the workshop view contains the tabs. So uh, what happened then? This this the whole, the, another FXML file was created and inject it to the, to the anchor pane. 
and again uh, the presenter is created which uh, contains the whole presentation logic and is able to interact with the UI components. So it's always the same story. A view is created, view loads FXML and CSS in the FXML references to a presenter. And in the presenter, it's just manually crafted class, so there is actually no requirements if you like that um, to be initialized. So JavaFX could use, um, you, can, you can implement initializable. Otherwise, otherwise you, you could uh, entirely skip that as well. Um, What's also interesting here, you see this at inject registra registration service. So um, in presenter, all presenters do support at inject dependency injection. And this is actually the Java 6 dependency injection, GSR 30. Um, where it is implemented? It is also implemented in the FXML view. And what uh, JavaFX provides to you is a callback. So uh, what I did is that if I passed to FXML loader a callback, and the callback is an injection provider which creates the presenter uh, for me and returns it to JavaFX runtime. So um, I implemented the whole dependency injection uh, from scratch. So there's just 120 uh, lines of code. Why I did it? Because I started actually with Google Juice. The only problem with Google Juice is uh, it is hard to, to use a uh, uh, convention over configuration with Google Juice. So I had to build in modules and, and, and make um, uh, Google Juice conventional. What was actually a, a little bit of work. So instead of that, I just said, okay, um, everything which is injected to the presenters is actually a singleton because we are on the UI, so there is no need for scoping, for for no 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 need for uh, for aspect oriented programming, just uh, straight injection. So um, I implement, I'm just listening for FXML and I initialize all members and it actually works well. But at any point of time, I could just replace the injection provider with Google Juice again. And um, both classes were extracted from um, AirHex control and now they are part of a framework, framework yeah, <laughs> small framework called Afterburner FX. And it is an Apache framework it's, um, on, on GitHub. And what's also interesting, I created another very, very basic project project called Follow Me. And in the um, uh, Follow Me project, it is actually one view with one pre presenter where you can just easily clone the project and, and, and perform the Maven build. And it would just uh, should open the, um, the view and so you have time to experiment with that. And um, of course, um, there is also a homepage afterburner and I will uh, put the video on this on this page. So if you like, I could record um, part two of the screencast about building and uh, integrating backend services. So thank you for watching and see you on one of the upcoming conferences, workshops, uh, trainings, or even air hacks in Munich. So thank you very much and bye.